Capricorn! What is going on, my dears? It's, it's me, right? It is she, right? It is V, right? It is Scorpion, right? Tarot. I am back at it in the building. One time for the one time to bring in some festive winter solstice year in spiritual guidance. Yes, indeed. We're here to find out what the tail end energy is surrounding us for the end of 2020 going into 2021 you guys so um i thank you guys again for supporting me throughout this year this has been an amazing year <laughs> in spite of all the difficulty that has presented itself um i want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been booking personal private readings who's been sending christmas gifts thank you guys to every last one of you guys that has been sending christmas gifts to me through the um, amazon um, wish list we just received the cosmic slumber tarot this is a beautiful deck and this box is so unique look at the way it opens up you guys Listen, and then this deck even has two bonus cards. I've never had a tarot deck that has two bonus cards. As you guys know, the um, Edgar Allan Poe deck that I ordered got lost in the sauce. It just got lost in the postal system, so I don't know if I'm ever going to receive it or not, but it got replaced with this, so I'm just ever so thankful and I'm just, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Thank you guys again for all of the uh, for the Christmas gifts and all of the bookings and the donations and things that you guys have been blessing me with throughout the year. I'm ever so thankful. Um, shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked this video. And thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. The most important way to, you know... Show love is by hitting the like button. All right, that's how people can see me. I get more visibility, you know, on the YouTube streets and people could get to know me. Um, if you would like to book a personal private reading, check the description box on this video and then check out the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you the way to connect with me um, through Messenger or Instagram. I do video readings only. And if you do not have Instagram and you want to book a reading with me, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I help get you all set up on Google Hangouts and we'll be good to go. Um, Capricorn, you know, we want to give God praise and thanks before we jump into anything so let's bow our head real quick father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the side of capricorn father god we've been rocking and rolling all year we've been keeping our head up high you know we've been just you know operating in pride and strength and dignity father god we just thank you so much for leading us through this pathway uh we're walking in to the threshold of glory and victory, Father God. And we just appreciate you just like guiding us every step of the way, giving us the nourishment, giving us the water that we need to drink, giving us the time that we need to think, Father God. We thank you so much for being like such a giving Father and a nurturing Father to us. We just thank you for everything that you are and everything that you do in our life. Please give us guidance for the rest of this year going into 2021. We know 2021 is when the fun is really going to start to begin. So, Father God, please make sure that, um, you know, whatever wisdom or guidance that we need to receive, that we get that so that we can be putting our best foot forward going into the new year. Amen. Amen. Thank you again, Father God, and please give us guidance for the sign of Capricorn. In Jesus' name we pray all right so as you guys see i got the tea leaf cards out here Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. so we're going to get into this let's get three cards for capricorn okay oh we got a younger man Ooh, who out there messing with the young tenders Ooh, ooh, ooh with the long hair like you don't care dealings or relationship with a younger man oh Okay, Capricorn. Mm. <laughs> well, you may be a young man yourself. Let's see. The pen. A new job or career. Come on, young man. Come on. The forest. Muddled and unclear thinking. What, what, what? So listen, young man. Listen, young man. You got a brand new start of life. New job, new career. Look like things are going your way, young man, young man. So, you know, don't muddle up your thinking. You know, don't go back to that street life. Don't do the things that you used to do. Like, things are changing. Like, things are about to come in a lot easy. You know? Less risk. 
You know, so, you know, enjoy it. Don't start to thinking about the things that you used to do and how fast things used to come and you ain't have to wake up early and do... Uh, 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 uh. Explore these changes in your life and see, you know, how things go. Okay, one more. Okay, all right. Look, you got the star. Guaranteed success. With this new career, this new change in your life, there's guaranteed success. You want to see victory. You want to receive your praises. So, to receive it. You got a fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a, either a fair, light-skinned, or a, a Caucasian woman. Someone with, what it says, blonde, gray, or white hair. So, I have a light-skinned, a white woman, or uh, someone with gray Blonde or white hair, white hair. Okay, the dog protection from a powerful friend. Hmm. <laughs> What's going on with this woman, and why they feel like they gotta watch you with this fair woman? Hmm. Interesting. Let's get three. Let's see what it be. So, if you guys got your headphones on, I will be shaking these dice through this reading. So, let's turn the volume down. I'm so sorry. This one right here, it puzzles me. Guaranteed success. It's like guaranteed success with this fair woman. But why does this, this, it's like your dog, it's like somebody wants to protect you from this woman. Someone that you have some type of interest, some keen sense of interest with. Well, I, I want to I clarify her first. Clarify this. Clarify the star, the fair woman, and the dog, please. You got the Knight of Cups. So again, like I told you, it, you guys are very so interested in this fair woman. She's out of a Caucasian. Light skin, blonde hair, something. It's I want to say it's like you love her. You're very intrigued and very interested in this woman. You got the seven of pentacles though. Um, I'm getting like a level of impatient. Like you're impatient. You love this person. It's like you're tired of waiting. It's like you don't. It, they're saying you can't shake it off for some reason. And you got the Seven of Swords. So, it's like you're trying to use your integrity. You're trying to use your wit. You don't feel like waiting. And again, I, you, I don't feel like you're scared of competition. You feel like you can outsmart the competition. Uh, you feel that you can scale the walls to get to her good gracious it's like you could like you're willing to climb and do whatever that you need you're not waiting you definitely i don't the see the thing that bothers me here is like capricorns are such a risk taker it's like they'll jump out there and do something and don't really care about the consequences and don't care to look at where they're going like the seven of swords is Someone that's doing something sneaky or manipulative, possibly underhanded to get what they want. It's like they're, it's like they're willing to steal something that's somebody else's. So, you guys could like really, really be intrigued or entranced by whoever this fair woman is. This light skin, this white woman, this woman with this blonde hair, this gray hair, this white hair, whatever the hell her deal is. You guys could be so infatuated and intrigued with this person. It's like you're not even paying attention to the risk that you may be taking to the rest of your your crop. It's like not a, allowing or waiting for something to grow. It's just you want to like cut all your tomatoes off of the vine before it's even ripe or it's ready to harvest yet. You know what I'm saying? It's like you may ruin all of your crops, especially if they're not indeterminate tomatoes like if they're determinate tomatoes and that was all it was going to produce that season it's not going to continue to grow and grow and reproduce and reproduce throughout the season until the first frost comes 
and you cut things before they were supposed to get cut, you just fucked up everything. You see what I'm saying? So it's like here, it's someone is, I want to say, trying to sneak and steal someone's girl. Whoever this fair woman is, it's like she's the star. She's the star. She's the light in your eye. It's like you really see things going well with this woman. I don't feel like you're trying to manipulate her at all. I feel like you're trying to manipulate yourself around this situation. You're, listen, protection from a, from a powerful friend. Your friend is trying to tell you it's not worth the risk. Like, don't do that. Don't go about it that way. Like, if this woman really wants you... She'll break up with her boyfriend. She'll do whatever it is that she has to do to show you, like, don't go sneaking around trying to get to matters of your heart. It's like, I'm trying to tell you, you need to wait. Like, you, you're going to fuck things up. You're going to regret it later. I don't feel like this person wants to wait. And then the page of swords just flipped over. So, again, it's like, this person... And then the page of swords flipped over, and then this is the ten of cups that just flipped over, and, and which where where was it? It was the seven of coins in reverse. So wait, no, that wasn't. It was the seven of swords. So what this is telling me here is like this woman may be married or something, and you may be secretly talking to her because again, like the seven of swords is like. Sneaking, not being caught, you know, like a spy, investigating, you know, like, ooh. Let's see. Let's clarify the young man, the pen, the forest, dealing with a relationship with a younger man, a new job, a career, muddled and unclear thinking. You got this star, you got the three of wands, and then how many coins is this here? And then you got, this is the eight of coins in the reverse. So again, it's like, you could feel like you're a star in your own right. Like you may already be successful or well known or, you know, like you may already have like a level of fame or something. So I don't know. It's, it's, I don't think that you're stepping down for that. You could have been praying for a job, honestly, because, you know, the stars represent prayer to me. It represents like... A concentration on your faith you wishing for something really bad the three of wands is like someone waiting to receive something is you're waiting for your ships to come in you know like like your uber you're waiting for your uber to arrive so you could go to a job that you really don't want to go to so like it's like what i'm getting right here this is a young man. I feel like you're already famous and you're known for something else. But you know that right now is your life needs to move in a new direction. It may be time to get a nine to five job, but it's like you really don't want to because you're not known for that. Like you could be known for being. They're saying the townsmen. It's like you're just known amongst the town. Like you're very fucking popular. You have extreme popularity. So it's like what the fuck do I look like working a 9 to 5 job? Like people going to clown me because I'm known for something else. Like you could be a mu musician. You could be a local comedian or um, just a socialite or social media influencer or something like that. You do have a lot of young energy. Really, but again, it's saying this young man is going to receive a new job and career like something is changing in regards to what they do on their day to day basis to get money. But it's muddled and unclear thinking about it because it's like, I don't even know if I want to. It's like I've never walked into that forest before. So I don't know if you're just not used to working a nine to five job. You're known for something completely different. Completely different. You can feel like with the star here, because I do look, it does look like, I don't know if this star is in the upright or is it in the reverse. It does look like it's in the reverse. It's in the reverse. So, what this is saying is like, they're saying you don't believe in the system. It's like, you don't believe in the system. You don't believe that you have to like, 
change your standard of life and go and get a nine to five job. I don't feel like you're happy about it. You feel like it defeats your purpose, like you're not living your purpose by having to do this, you know. Um, again, they're saying a ship has sailed in regards to the pastime for whoever it was that you were. And there's new boats, there's new shipments coming in of something new that you're about to be known to do. So, like, I don't want you to... I don't want you to shoot yourself in the foot where this could possibly be something that you're good at. I don't feel like God would push you in that direction if it wasn't meant for you to go there. Like, everything happens for a reason. So, like, don't wander into this forest with muddy, unclear thinking, not understanding why you're having to step away from your purpose. You're still the same person. You're still going to be known for that, but you're going to be known for that and something else, too. You know, it's like, I feel like God is about to show you some other gifts, some other skills that you have. So be positive. And again, God is pushing you to move forward. So don't be scared to move. It's just like you're just scared to move away from what you're known for. Like, you're scared that people want to laugh at you or, or something. And it's just, that's not the case. Because the eight of coins is like your reputation being fucked up because people see you working this nine to five job and you're trying to be a career man now. No, like, okay, give me three. Child, that was like 18. Please give me three cards. Thank you. What is this? I had, I'm. You will be in a new role. I believe that's what it says. You will be playing a different role. I told you. So, ex excuse me, accept it. You got the rooster, an arrogant, boastful person that you should not cross. And then you got a fair man. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. And he don't look like he playing either. I, I, Capricorn, is y'all over here messing with this white man's wife? <laughs> I know would do this they would be like and I'm I'm just, I'm just saying because my friends are black so I'm just speaking from you know people that I know I can see my friends going and, and fucking some white man's fine ass damn wife like little badass little <laughs> Caucasian woman with some beautiful red hair some big ass boobs and some nice hips and stuff a lot of the dudes that I know like because a lot of the white girls I know they they cool as shit you know what I'm saying so it's like I, I, I'm not even mad at them but boy if you do not cut it out and then like I'm also because why I feel like they, they, they try to stole this man woman like this is this man's woman that is that man woman and y'all know that that it Why am I feeling like this is y'all boss's wife or something or his daughter or something like that? Y'all, listen, you guys are being put in a new position, in a new role. Please don't carry your old energy into this new situation. Please, Jesus, I'm asking you. Come on now. Now, and I already know that you are, are listen, this is you and someone else. An arrogant, boastful person that you should not cross. Every Capricorn that I know. They are very sweet and talented people. Most Capricorns that I know are extremely talented. But they are boastful. Like, I... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Y'all can be very boastful and arrogant people. But the most times from what I see, people love it. It's like they love your cockiness. Suck my cockiness. Lick my persuasion. Oh. Eat something swallow your pride down. Uh, and then you come around, you come around, you come around. I want you to be my sex slave. Anything that you desire. Ah! <laughs> no one can do you the way that I do. Boy, I want yo, I love.
love it, I love it, I love it when you eat it. I love it, I love it, I love it when you eat it. I'm sorry, y'all so bad. Listen, you're in this new role. Like, whoever this fair man is, a dealings or a relationship with a man with blonde hair, gray hair, or white hair, Avidus is this girl, father, this girl's husband, something. This is an arrogant, boastful person that you should not cross. I want you to just pay attention to what you're doing. I don't see you getting caught, but it's like, I feel like you're going to risk this position. A younger woman. Hey, like, how many motherfuckers you got, Capricorn? God damn. A young woman, a young man, a fair woman, a... Is y'all doing crisscross applesauce? Is y'all what is this? What is y'all swingers? Is that what this is? Y'all switching up partners? Is that what y'all doing? Switch? Is that what we doing? What the? Whoa! 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 y'all reading the tea y'all got the younger woman with the reconciliation with the pineapple so to me I feel like whoever your counterpart is this younger man this younger woman I want to say that there may be some it's some sour and sweet energy around this reconciliation right here because I want to say you guys are getting back together but there's still some level of estrangement because there's other shit going on with other people. And again, I don't know if y'all are switching partners. Is this someone at your job and like you agreed to switch partners? Like you fucking his wife and he fucking your, one of your little young jumps? But it's like, I feel like you don't give a fuck about the little young jump or whatever. But he give a fuck about his wife though. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your partner is trying to tell you, bro, you shouldn't be doing this, man. But that's your boss. You and your boss wild as shit. Y'all shouldn't be doing this. Listen, the mountain, a major challenge to overcome. And then the cat, a two-faced friend. <gasps> Ooh. 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 Ooh, y'all always be having a tea. Y'all always be having a tea. So, it's a two-faced friend up in this bitch. Why I'm getting a snitch, young? It's like some, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -mm. Let's get some clarification. Night. Come on, please. Father God, please make this make sense for me because I'm getting messy, messy, messy. Oh, honey, I'm getting some messy, messy boots up in here, okay? I'm getting some messy boots. Wait, ooh, the high priestess in the reverse. Ooh, Tonita. Some secrets are going to come out about you, my friend. I don't know if you're fucking with your supervisor's wife or something, my friend. But, oh, my God, you got a two-faced friend. They've been warning you and trying to protect you against this one. But, oh, cara mia, cara mia. Mm -mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. I don't know if you should trust this friend. I feel like this friend is trying to protect you, but this friend don't respect you. Mm -mm. Like this friend might have wanna fucked her too. Like why am I ooh, why am I getting so much messy boots? I'm getting messy boots. Ooh. Ooh. Clarify the um the youth, the young man, the pen, the forest, in the name of Jesus, the star in the reverse. The three of wands, the seven of coins, the hat, the rooster, the fair man. Please, Jesus, give me one card in the name of Jesus. The prince of torches. Hey, there you go, young man. Again, you are younger than... It's like you're a warrior. You're a fighter. You are like... When you see something that you want, you are very determined to go after it. And when you say you want it, you're going to get it. And you're not going to stop until you get it. Like, you have an aggressive, like, sex appeal about you. Like, I, 
why am I just picturing it's like you at the job and shit and I don't know why the woman's wife is like the secretary or something. And it's like you walking up to her desk to sign off to get your paycheck or something like that. And it's like when you be talking to her, it's like her hand will be right there. And you be like, yeah, so what you doing for lunch? And like little shit like that. And girl be like, ooh, don't touch me, you little young motherfucker. Ooh, I will fuck the shit out you. Um, where's my husband? Is my husband around? Right? Ooh, you attempt to, ooh, why am I getting that? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, I'm getting chills, Lord Jesus. Ooh, honey, bunches of oats. I definitely feel like there is something hot and spicy. Might be some type of scandalous behavior going on here. Um, I want to say that y'all been trying to keep it inside, but it may be spilling over into the atmosphere. Uh, your friend may be telling your girl, honestly, Someone that you just reconnected with, girl, you got a problem over here. Because he's sleeping with our boss's wife. So, mm, I don't know. Maybe you need to look into this or whatever. Because this shit might be going right under your nose. You may not be seeing it with the seven of goddamn swords. Like, this person is clearly, alright, being very shir chivalrous and... You know, writing poems and taking this bitch out to lunch and everything. Have you been paying attention to your coins? You may need to check your bank account, girl. Uh, because I, why am I getting at this friend is giving the your girlfriend hints or something? I don't even feel like he's trying to protect you. I feel like he's trying to protect her. Because it's like y'all two could have just got back together. And again, this is a two-faced friend. It's like you always up to some bullshit or doing something you shouldn't be doing and this is like a new job and you being reckless at your new job and you should not be crossing your supervisor like that messing around with this man's fucking wife and shit like that you know and again once the Capricorn finds out about this shit they gonna be in for a fight it's gonna be in for a fight I'm letting you know right now because Capricorns do not play that shit they one thing I know about a Capricorn, they do not like fake ass friends. They do not like two faced people. And I'm letting you know, is Capricorn is gonna find out that this friend betrayed them and went and told their girlfriend what the fuck is going on and all of this shit like that. Capricorn's gonna beat your ass. So I'm just letting you know, whoever this friend is that's running around telling the business, that's letting all the secrets and the cat out of the bag, Capricorn gonna beat your ass because you're snitching about this person's mistress. Girl, girl, laugh, girl, laugh. Let's um clarify the hat, the rooster, and the fair man, please, and the prince of torches. That's the strength in the reverse. I'm trying to tell you, like, this person could not control the temptation. This is the ten of coins, and then this is the five of coins right here. So, again, like, this is this is ooh, so this is. Basically telling me it's like someone couldn't control herself, their temptation, their lust, their desire. They definitely got put in a new position, got a new job and everything. But I feel like as quickly as it comes in, it may end. Like, listen, you got this new role, but yet you could not control yourself. You could not control this desire, this temptation, this need, this lust for attention, whatever the hell it is. And again, if you see at the top of here, you see the Three of Pentacles. So this definitely has something to do with you not being able to control yourself at work. Seriously, you got the rooster with the Ten of Pentacles. So it's telling you an arrogant and boastful person that you should not cross. You should not play with this person. You should not play when it comes to your financial security. Because you don't let nobody play with you. Tens represents endings. And then right next to the ten, right next to the ten of pentacles, you got the five of pentacles with the fair man. So this could be someone shutting you out. Remember the five of pentacles is someone being shut out, being removed, being cut out. Someone told, being told that they're not qualified, that they're not suited for this position. Oh, God, I'm just knocking everything over. Like this could be a loss of employment. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
This could be a loss of employment. If you're the fair man that's about to lose your job, or this could be your boss and this person is about to fire you from some level of indiscretion. You know, again, an arrogant and boastful person that you should not cross. You should have not crossed this person. Like, I don't feel like whatever you did was work-related. It wasn't work-related. It's something personal, but you're going to lose your job for it. You're going to be cut out. You're going to be shut out. That's like someone being homeless. That's like someone being sick, needing help, needing, you know, aid, assistance, uh, uh, social services. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that, that's what that means. You know? Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Give me guidance over here. Clarify the yoga woman, the pineapple, the cat, and the mountain. Child, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and then how many cups is this? You got the Eight of Cups. This is the Ace of Wands. So you guys can most definitely uh, be saying bomb. Like you guys are walking away from something. You walk, you guys are walking away from something in the past, and it's like, I'm just gonna start over. It's like you don't want it anymore. It's like you, you don't want anything to do with anybody from your past. Like it's like you had a bad experience. You felt like you could have trusted these people, pineapples. Nah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't wanna. I don't want anything to do with this friend. Like this person was too faced. It. Um. There's a mountain right there. A mountain represents a burden, a blockage, you know. So, you might have walked away from this younger woman and this two-faced friend. Like, fuck both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's major challenges to overcome with both of these people. And there might not be any purpose in you reconnecting with this Eight of Cups. It's like you pour everything out. Like, I don't want anything to do with this two-faced backstabbing double crossing ass motherfucker friend and my old lady like I was about to get rid of her anyway like that's why I was cheating on her so it's like my friend should have never got the fuck up in my business like on everything you know what I'm saying like you betrayed me you crossed me and it's like if you wanted to fuck my woman you could have just fucking had her like for real for real like you know like you going to betray your best friend over a bitch. Like, that's how, like, that's how, y'all already know how Capricorns is, bruh. Are y'all surprised they talking like this? Hell no, I'm not. But, like, that's legitimately how this Capricorn looks at whoever this friend is. It's like, you betrayed me over a bitch? For real, for real, was like, you jealous. It's like, because I, I, I get what I want. Like, I'm a star. You know what I'm saying? Like, you mad because you got to work a 9-to-5 job. Bitch, I don't have to work no 9-to-5 job. I, when the last time you see me work a 9-to-5 job, bitch, I'm out here. I'm famous. Like, people know me. I ain't got to, like, I'm a superstar. I could go do a show. I could go, you know, do a walkthrough. I could go do whatever I want to do. So it's like, yeah, you think that I should be humble and appreciative for this 9-to-5 job. Bitch, you got to work a 9-to-5 job. Bitch, you want, you want my fucking headache at home. Like, the young girl, like... I don't even want to fuck with her. You with you bad because. Bro, like, I swear, y'all got to watch out for people, man. And it don't even matter. Like, it don't even matter if Capricorn living their life the way that you think that they should or not. Like, if that's your friend, that's your friend. What the fuck you going to go snitch on your man for? That's some clown ass shit. Like, I don't, I don't be down with that shit. Because, honestly, like, you know what type of shit your friend be on. If that's if you don't accept your friend for being who the fuck they are. I don't care if they go sleep around and cheat on their wife or sleep. Like, you already know that your friend is like that. So, if you don't like the way that your friend operates, stop being their friend. I don't hang around people that I don't fully accept or I just... Like, I have people in my family that ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? But I know that they ain't shit. I ain't got to deal with them. I can't choose who the fuck my family is. You understand what I'm saying? They're not going to be less of my family. I just know how they are. 
and I know how to treat them. When you know people are, you know how to treat them. If I know that this is a friend or a family member of mine, and they like to go around fuck people's wives and people's husbands, I don't bring them around my fucking... You can't come around my family, but you're still my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're, I, if, if my ain't shit ass cousin, I know that this bitch is a whore. She be out here sleeping around and she be cheating on her husband. I'm not going to go snitch and tell my fucking cousin, my cousin's husband, that she's sleeping with her boss. A lot, Capricorn just said to me, the only reason why you did it is because you want it. You want my fucking husband. You want my woman. You want, like, you jealous. Like, low-key, you jealous for real. You jealous of my lifestyle. You jealous of the people that I date. Like, you jealous. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck out of here trying to act like you trying to protect me and all of this shit. Nah, nigga, you, you want some clown ass shit. Fuck you mean, bro. Some bullshit. Some straight up bullshit. Clarify the, um... Clarify the hat, the rooster, the fair man, the strength in the reverse, the ten of pentacles, and the five of pentacles for me, please. Clarify the prince of torches. Thank you so much. You got the king of wands in the reverse. Exactly. Y'all already know what type of shit I be on. I'm in and out. I do what I want to do, man. Like, I'm... Uh, what y'all like? What you what what? How old am I? Like y'all think I'm going to change? No, just I am who the fuck I am. I'm not no committal type of person. I only like to stay around when the getting is good. When shit ain't good no more. What the fuck I'ma stay around for when I got all these other bitches and all these other opportunities? I could go get money elsewhere. No, y'all stupid for staying around when shit be getting bad. That ain't my mo. <laughs> okay. So what the fuck are you mad at me for? Because you were, oh, well, I'm going to stick it in type of nigga. Nigga, you stick it in, bitch. I'm going to stick it in and I'm going to stick out, bitch. What the fuck wrong with y'all? Like. <laughs> I love Capricorn. I, I swear on my, I, uh, if you ever want to laugh, if you ever want to laugh, bruh. Hang around some Capricorn men, man. Yeah, they is funny as shit. I swear. Oh my God, they are funny as hell. Oh my goodness. Clarify the high priestess. We already know that's your mistress, King of Wands. <laughs> we already know. But just clarify the, listen, clarify the, the high priestess, the young woman, the pineapple. What is this? The five of swords. Oop, oop, oop. Oop, shit about to get ugly. Ugly. Didn't I tell you Capricorn was going to come and beat this nigga ass for fucking snitching? I, I'm telling... Capricorn is going to meet you violence with violence because Capricorn feel like you snitching, you like, that's an assault. Like, you try to, like, what? You try to bring some burdens, some challenges and shit? You, 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 you what? You try to bring some stress troubles to me? I... So just be prepared, little two-faced in front, when I come over there and beat your ass, because I am coming to beat your ass, bruh. Not only am I completely done with our friendship, I'm done. I mean, like, done, done. Done, done, done. Ain't no, ain't no looking back from this, nigga. Like, yeah, this is action. This is movement. Do you understand? Fire. Like, you done lit Capricorn the fuck up. So they got something to fight for now. You understand? Yeah, because you betrayed me, bitch. You betrayed me. And you were my friend for a long time, but you not my friend no more. I ain't got shit to give for you. But trust and believe, I'm pulling the fuck up, though. So if you thought my girl is worth you getting your ass beat, guess what? You better be prepared to fight fire with fire because I am coming to beat your ass. On God, like, bro, you snitching? Like, you snitching? You dead ass? You snitching? You snitching? You snitching? We snitching. Oh, okay. You thought it wasn't gonna be no revenge? You thought it wasn't? You thought I was not about to come over here and smack whole fucker fire out you, Slim? Huh? <laughs> really? Oh, okay. I, to, I did not. T I told y'all. I know Capricorns, bruh. I know Capricorn, especially Capricorn men. 
What? What? I don't care how old they are. They ain't never old enough. Where they ain't, where they won't still come run down and whoop your ass, bitch. Like, what you, what? I mean, like, like, as soon as Capricorn hang up the phone, they in the car and they on your ass. And, I mean, they move quick. Like, they don't play around. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they don't even need no army. Like, he gonna come and fuck you up himself. Like, what? What? Oh. <laughs> I don't Don't you know no good 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 Okay listen I'm trying to tell you Somebody about to get that About to get that ass spanked Give me God. Forces working against you. Look, listen, Capricorn already know. They already know. They already on the go. A change is coming for the better. A change is coming for the better. All right. So listen, just listen. Mm 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 mm. mm, -mm. Give me two more for my Capricorns in the name. Ta 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 ta. It says, lighthearted in a carefree time. So they just gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Realize that everything happened for a reason and go a party and celebrate. Like Capricorn do. Like, Cap like Capricorn is the only person I know that could go get into a fight and go smoke a jet and go to the fucking nightclub like they ain't just finished whipping somebody's ass. Like y'all got issues. I swear to God, but I love you. Y'all crazy as fuck. What is this? The cobweb. Protection from negative forces beyond your control. Listen, God got you. That's why this happened because I don't even think you even realize, like, Capricorn, that you had a friend around you hating on you like that. Like, this motherfucker is snitch, bruh. A cold-ass fucking snitch. Nigga hating because you be out here getting pussy and getting bitches and shit. Gonna go snitch and go, go tell your fucking girlfriend that you over there fucking old cousin, old fucking wife and shit. And cause all this drama. You done lost your job. You done lost your bitch. You know, bitch, you done lost your friend. Like, get the fuck, bruh. Get the whole fuck. But everything happened for a reason. Because those are people that you don't need to have around you. Anyway, I don't care if you're doing wrong or right. Like... You know how I roll. You know how I operate. You know what I do. So if you don't fuck with what I do, do not hang around me, Slim. Because if you hanging around me doing some jealous ass shit going behind my back, snitching to the enemy or telling the fucking ops what's going on, I'm going to fucking knock your front teeth out. Like, what? You're going to be sipping through a straw for a couple of months to make you think about opening up your mouth again, snitching on a whole fucking G. Like, what the fuck you talking about? I don't even give a fuck if this just got some shit to do with bitches. Nigga, you fuck with my bitch and my money. Fuck wrong with you. Y'all got me irritated. Let me get this last message so I can get the fuck up out of here. Like, everything happened for a reason. Like, everything. You got that Ace of Cups. So, and the Ace of Cups was sitting over there all the time. It's like, you're not stopping the momentum in Capricorn still loving itself. Capricorn still loved itself. They, they're not sweating the situation. It's like, all oh, well, that ends well. Oh, well. I still got more bitches. There's more for where they came from. I still got more bitches. Okay? That was just the one you seen. It's just like, you not stopping... This gravy train, I'm so sorry. So the fuck sorry about it. So you ain't gonna do nothing but sit around on the sideline and watch me fucking some old bitches. And if you got something else to say, I'm gonna beat your ass again. That part, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Capricorn. Y'all are too gangster for me. No wankster, straight gangster. This is Capricorn. This has been y'all damn reading and y'all enjoyed this. Y'all clicked the like button. Y'all crazy than a bitch. I cannot wait to see what the hell going on. <laughs> y'all crazy ass is going on in 2021.
In 2021, you don't be, oh, you know what, I'm done. Bye. 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 Bye.